So while you watch this, I'm actually on the road traveling and I couldn't take my Fabricator Mini with me. But I figure what I'd do is I'd show you how to clean filament that's stuck inside the hot end. So it's Filament Friday. Let's clean out some filament. The first step is to remove the Bowden tube from the hot end. I used a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen the nut and then once it was loose enough I just used my fingers. Once you get it far enough you can pull the nut all the way out then you can pull the Bowden tube out from the extruder and it goes in quite a ways. Now mine still had the filament in place so I had to fight that a little bit and then once that was exposed I just clipped it with some clippers and then I was done. I, I had the Bowden tube disconnected from the hot end. Now the next step is to remove the two screws that hold the hot end in place. I used a T8 Torx screwdriver but you could use a 5 ths hex screwdriver if you got one. Now once you loosen it, you just pull the whole unit out so you can work on it. Now I use channel locks to hold the bottom of the hot end and then a 7 millimeter socket to remove the nozzle. Now normally this comes off really easy but this one was really tight plus I was fighting the filament that was still connected. And once I got it out you could see the filament stuck inside and also filament inside the rest of the, the hot end. And that just came out by pulling the rest of the filament that I had cut away. Then I removed the fan that just clips on over the heatsink. Then I used the channel locks again and removed the heatsink. And this I could just loosen by hand. It just unscrews. So then I used the blunt end of the filament that I pulled out and pushed it back through. And a few small pieces popped out, but that was it. Most of the blockage was in the nozzle. Now to clean out the nozzle, I got a 1 16th inch uh, drill bit, put it in my cordless drill, and just drilled out that plastic that was stuck in there. And a lot of times this will get most of it. And then once in a while there will be a little bit left over and I can just pull it out with some side cutter. Just kind of grab the edge of it and pull. But, but this one was so tight that it just kept cutting away. So it might not have been the right tool, but a lot of times it's loose. So I tried drilling it again and I got a little more out of it, but I could see that there was something stuck down inside. So the trick there is I go and I get my soldering iron heated up, place the nozzle on top of it, and then with some vice grips, once it's heated up, grab it and hold it. And then I use the same drill method and drill with that 1 16th inch drill bit. And when you're done, you'll see that it's just stuck to the end of the drill bit. And it just pops right off. And that was the piece that was stuck. So I got it out. Final step to clean out is the little 0.4 millimeter hole in the nozzle. So I got these Harbor Freight micro drill bits and they're perfect for this. The pink one is a 0.35 millimeter drill bit, which is the perfect size to go into the nozzle. So you just line up the nozzle, which isn't easy to do, but you get the drill bit to go right in there and you can just kind of push out anything that's left over. And you might have to drill a little bit with it by hand but you just push and you'll feel it clear right out and then the nozzle is ready to go I bang it a little bit to get anything out and I hold it up to light just to make sure I can see through it and once I've done that then I'm ready to start assembling it put the heat sink back on and then by hand I tighten the nozzle back into the uh, hot end and as a final step then I get the seven millimeter socket and just give it the last couple turns to tighten it against the, the rest of the unit So the next step is to just clip the fan onto the heat sink and make sure it, it goes across all the fins. And then just slip on the little black ring on top of the hot end and then line it up by bringing the wires up through the hole and make sure the uh, tie strap is above that. And then just bring it up to the hole and tar start tightening the screws. And I go back and forth one side and the other side just to slowly tighten this up until both of them are tight. Once everything's tightened up, then just slide the Bowden tube back in and it's going to go down into the hot end and then just slide the nut down and hand tighten it all the way until it you know, basically stops and then finish it off with the wrench. And when you're done, it should look like this. The nozzle in the center and the heat end towards the front. And then just load some filament, push it through, make sure it's flowing, and you're ready to start printing again. So that's it for Filament Friday for this week. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, donate a dollar a month to my Patreon account. 
helps me out making these kind of videos. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and then check out some of my other videos. I got a lot more out there on Fabricator Mini, tips and tricks on 3D printing, and even some on the Da Vinci's. So that's it. I'll see you next week.